Hi Eastside, it's Miss Simeon and today we'll be using playing cards to add and subtract. All you need is a piece of paper, pencil, or marker, counters, and playing cards. First you'll create a game board that looks similar to mine. I can add, I can subtract. Your counters can be anything, goldfish, pretzels, beans, Legos, whatever you have at home that helps you count. You also need playing cards. On a piece of notebook paper or any paper you have at home, write your numbers 1 through 20. With an adult, have them help you cut out your numbers and order them from 1 to 20 on your game board. All right, let's get started. So you'll need to pull two cards from your playing cards. Nine plus three. Now we have our number sentence and we have to complete it. But first, let's decide which strategy we will use. In order to add, you can use your fingers or your toes, draw tallies, Use manipulatives, that's counters, or you can count up. For this tutorial, we're going to count up. In order to count up, we need to know which number is greater. If you decided that 9 is greater than 3, good job. So let's start with the number 9 and count up 3 times. Are you ready? 9, 10, 11, 12. So 9 plus 3 equals 12. Let's use these same cards and subtract. 9 minus 3 is equal to Hmm. First, we have to decide which strategy we want to use to subtract. We can use our counters, our fingers and toes, tallies, draw a picture, or count down. Let's count down. In order to count down, we need to know which number is greater. If you decided that 9 is greater than 3, great job. Now let's count down. 9 minus 3. Now we have to count down. 9, 8, 7, 6. So 9 minus 3 is equal to 6. If you enjoyed this mini math lesson and decide to play with your family and friends at home, please send us a picture so we can post it on our Eastside Facebook page. Have a great day.